complexity of my character. But um, but she is um, she's lonely, and she's someone who really protects herself. And Blue is someone who's so big-hearted and so genuine and authentic. And um, he really kind of gets her heart to melt. And so for me, it wasn't necessarily a story of opposites attracting. It was more a story of how beauty unfolds slowly sometimes. And you need to spend time with someone to really get to know them in order to see them and appreciate them. And um, so I, I hope that I'm like Blue. <laughs> because then that means I unfold slowly and people appreciate me. <laughs> just one quick thing, like, uh, but just so you guys know, like in English, the name of the character is Jewel. So in Portuguese, it's Shaji, so they know what they don't know. You're telling me this now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, your name is. Am I in this Mary. film? What's going on? <laughs> Okay, I gotta speak in Portuguese. Uh, so, uh, in English, é uh, Jewel, in Portuguese, é uh, Jade, tá? Só pra vocês saberem quando ela come. The rest is the same. She's the only unique one. That's really nice. Carlos? Sim? Hi. Um, Alberto Rundari from the Mexican newspaper Reforma and La Nación from Argentina. Bienvenido. Uh, muito obrigado. Um, eu moro aqui. Um, just want you to know um, what were the little things that you had to change for uh, for to make it a, a, a movie more appealing for a broader audience. I have read uh, the rumor that you had to uh, make the bikinis bigger. Is that true or not? And, and also, how do you feel this movie will uh, uh, be uh, receiving the context of the uh, rebirth or uh, reflourishing that the city, the bl blossoming that the city of Rio is, is having right now? And as an Argentine, I have to ask you, who wins the, the match in the movie? <laughs> Okay, let's do the end parts. Okay, the little changes. Yes, the bikini was true. Look, come on. You've been to the beaches in Rio. Like, I cannot show everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, for the brief moment that we had to do it, like, can you imagine this movie was made for, to the world, you know? So, I know that um, I had to, you know, just adjust, you know, even though, like, it's not that big, you know, it's like, it's okay, you know, fairly, you know, has a lot of exposure though, right? So, <laughs> anyway, so, but you know, it's okay. Like, I don't think it changes the vibe of it. Um, um, in terms for the... Um, <laughs> well, that was pretty much it. Like that, but that is, even that is like minor. I knew that going into the process. Like, I've been there for 20 years, so I know my... You know, I know the culture very well, and I know what I need to get to. Like, it's like, what my... In terms of the adaptations of the movie for the foreign culture, you know, the little details, it doesn't really matter because, like, we if we do it true to what it is, or if, we, if the moment X asks for it, like it's not imposed into the the movie, it feels natural and people will accept it. So we have people, you know, in Carnival in, in two pieces, like bikinis and stuff, and and everybody knows what that is and enjoys what it is. Nobody asks, you know, about what that is. So at the end of the day, everything is, you know, as authentic as it can be. Um, in terms of the, the this moment for the city, like keep in mind that this this idea was like started like way way back ten years ago, before even the the moment that we have in Rio right now. That we're I'm very lucky and fortunate to be a part of it, and I'm so honored to be a part of it. And it was so great because uh, we're working on the story, uh, we're working together, and uh, we're doing all the stuff. And um, and all of a sudden, like all these news start to pop, like Rio's gonna be like, you know, the World Cup in Rio, and this in Rio, and blah, blah, blah in Rio. And then all of a sudden, like, whoa, something's happening in Rio, like, you know. And then the movie came out, and everybody was like, oh, the movie's because Rio. No, it's the other way around, you know. <laughs> so, um, well, it was really great. I remember one time um, I was with uh, um, uh, Vanessa Morrison, which is president of Fox Animation, and uh, we came to go talk in the Rio Film Festival. And, uh, and then it was, the minute that we arrived in Rio was the day that the city was announced that it was going to be the, um, the Olympics. And, and we, uh, you know, they stayed at the Copa, uh, the Copa you know, we went to the Copa that, that, that day, and there was a huge, you know, crowd, in the, you know, like in the, on the beach celebrating the whole thing. And I, you know, I, of course, I planned that very specifically, you know, so that was a great surprise. So I didn't even know there was a lot of fun just to be a part of it. Um, and there was one more question that I don't remember. Okay, I, I was trying to, you know, okay. I have a lot of great friends in Argentina, so I had to be, you know, zero, zero. 
So that's why in the movie, with the ones that have seen the movie, I make sure that at the end nobody sees who scored and they like, oh, if it scores or not. So it's a, it's a cliffhanger. You know, I didn't want to, you know, I don't want to be, to be controversial. I don't want to, you know, piss off my friends over down, <laughs> down south. So I was kind of like, I, I was, but it had to be, but I have to say, it had to be Brazil and Argentina. It had to be, because I think that's the most classic soccer, kind of like, you know, game ever, you know, so. Okay. Unfortunately, we can't take any more questions. We have a tight schedule. Um, on behalf of Rio, on behalf of Carlos Saldana, and all the people that work in this project, I'd like to thank everybody for the presence.